chapel and we're gonna get married. 540 couples registered their marriage here on Wednesday, which is more than 10 times the usual figure. The reason? 12 December 2012 is the last repeating date of the century and a popular date for couples to tie the knot. Maurice Ang and Glennis Cha were one of the lovebirds to do so. I proposed to her first. And after that, then we sit down together, then we choose the date, lah, which is Chow Chow Chow. Yeah. You plan to propose to her earlier so that you can get this date? Uh, actually, we never think of it. Lah. I just like, the, what Chinese say, soon qi su rana, you know, walk one step, we count one step, uh, propose to her already, then, hey, chow, 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 why not, we take this date. So we just go ahead. Lah. When people ask, when's your will, our will, date, oh, chow, chow, chow. Like very, you know, yeah, yeah that's to say, uh, better than 27, chow, 11, that kind of. Like, you know, the things are more expensive today. Like maybe when you buy the flowers or when you go out for a meal. Uh, so can you share some of that? Uh, like flowers, uh, like uh, six six uh, roses. We actually spent how much? $75, $75 on just like, yeah, just for the bouquet. But all that was worth it for the happy couple. In token and pledge, you know, in token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. I'm going to kiss him right now. Thank you, thank you. Dennis, do you feel any different now that you're officially married? Yeah, like husband and wife now. Uh, no more single life, you know. She got to cook for me, uh. right? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. And who will be doing the housework between the two of you in future? I think it will be me. <laughs> no la. <laughs> no la, we will do together. Uh, do together. Yeah. Do you have any personal vows to exchange with each other other than what you read out just now? Personal vow, uh, actually, just that you love each other forever, that's all. <laughs> yeah, simple and sweet. Simple. Yeah. And how about for you? You know, that, that is his vow to you and, and for you? Same, la. <laughs> same, same. The duo were one of 40 couples who tied the knot at the Registry of Marriages Singapore. These two 18-year-olds also picked the unique date for their solemnization ceremony. How much have you spent, you know, on having this special day today? Uh, around 10k. It's the last repetition of the day. Yeah, it's easier <laughs> to remember. Besides that, she also likes this kind of repetitive number. For Muhammad Farhan and Norima, this date is extra special. Yeah, it is indeed special for us because nine years ago, we were together on exactly 12th of December. 12 is the... Number of our jerseys. Yes. Oh, we both play. Yeah, we both play soccer. For some couples, getting the popular 12th of December 2012 date was a stroke of luck. Actually, I felt very lucky because uh, this doesn't happen to everybody who's planning to get married in December. We were together for four and a half years and then uh, I decided that, you know, to move on to the next stage. So, and then while we were looking at the dates and all that, uh, I, dis- I-, I felt that 12, 12, 12 is like the last date for this year and it's a recurring date, you know, every hundred years. So I choose like really sweet that, you know, we'll get the 12, 12, 12. You are supposed to register three months ahead. Yeah, we actually didn't get it, but uh, due to luck, I guess, we got it in the end. They gave it to us the earliest slot, yeah. We are getting old, so uh, this number is good. Why is this number good? So I don't have to remember so much, just remember 12. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. That's good about it. Why not pick your actual anniversary then? Like maybe the day you got together or the day he proposed? Oh, because that will be in the fasting month. Oh. <laughs> And the interracial newlyweds broke away from tradition for their post solemnization celebration. We're having a barbecue later on. Uh, so, no Sunday.